Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Worst Games Ever. It's the show where we play terrible video games sent in by you. I'm doing a sort of spooky episode as though it's Halloween. I don't oh, know why oh. I'm doing it like this. My name is Peter. Uh, my name is Ben. Maybe we're playing a spooky game today. I don't know. Um, could be. I, I don't think we are. Oh, okay. How are you today, Ben? Yeah, I'm doing okay. If I sound like I, I slur my words during the course of this episode, it's because I've managed to get a nice... Because you're drunk. I'm drunk as hell, and I've managed to get a nice sleep deprivation ulcer right at the back of my mouth, and it's rubbing against my teeth a bit. So, oh, no. You know, well, just the how it goes. I didn't know that was a thing, a sleep deprivation ulcer. Yeah, when you're feeling run down, you know, you tend to get ulcers when you're feeling run down and, like... Yeah, yeah, I guess when you you're feeling... You haven't slept enough and... Very poorly. Yeah, and you're, you've only eaten pizza for like three days. And, yeah, you know. I mean, I definitely get mouth ulcers when I've only eaten Skittles for three days because <laughs> they they will just burn you. That's what they do. Anyway, what are we doing here? I don't know. Uh, this is the candy show where we talk about British candies or sweets, as we call them in Britain. Sweeties. Sweeties. Um, I am today's sweeties victim. which means you're eating the sweeties this week, Peter. <laughs> and that makes me, along with my sweetie facts, the sweetie master. Like Willy Wonka. Wonderful. Ben, what terrible video game, because it's not actually the show where we play terrible video games. What terrible video game am I playing today? You are playing Batman Dark Tomorrow. Oh. Tomorrow. 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 We're playing it today but it's called Tomorrow, Dark Tomorrow. Right, so I'm not playing Batman Dark, like, in the morning. No, unless you watch this far in the video and, and then save the rest. Fantastic. Should we play Dark Tomorrow today now? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> whoa. Oh. oh. Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Oh! Didn't the other Batman game that we played basically do that same thing? Just letters oh flew God, in. Oh, my oh God. Jesus Christ. Letters flew in violently, I think. <laughs> That's all that Batman knows. When I tested this, I thought something was wrong because surely there should be music. Here. Yeah. Uh, but there, I don't think there is because right. when you get into the game, the music works fine. So it's nothing to do with the emulator. I don't believe it's just a very atmospheric minimalistic menu sure okay menu malistic oh flipping x so this is a, a gamecube game that we're playing the gamecube version here and i've mapped yeah my buttons to the equivalent places <laughs> on a gamecube controller but i still don't know what they are or where they are so it's kind of pointless yes that was a real issue I had playing the GameCube launch games as well. Mm. I, I could not... I did my best. But this this is the first worst GamesCube game. GamesCube? GameCube? Are you playing one of those GamesCubes? Oh, uh, one I didn't of the, press anything. Oh, oh. It went to... This is the, the first GameCube game we've played on this series. It is. Oh, look at the lovely artifacts there. It's um, nice, isn't it? Mm. Oh. Look at those goggles. Yeah. Batman created by Bob Kane. Yeah. Daughter, you are just in time. That's how I refer to my parent, father, and he says, son. 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 Change the history of the planet Earth. Change the history? He will try to stop you, will he not? Who's he? Mm. I can't wait to find out who he is. His involved. If all goes according to plan, you will see him soon enough. So is this is this like Magneto or you know? Which yeah, this is Magneto from yeah. Batman. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! That Jesus. If yours does that, go to the doctor. Yeah, it's not meant to do that. No. It's like a Stranger Things. Yeah. Beastie. 
That's way too bright to be Gotham. It's never day there. No, it's always night in Gotham. Gotham. Got him! Lol, Gotham. Oh god, we're still doing credits, are we? Yeah, we... this is it. It takes itself really serious. There, there's a castle that Whoa, Batman that's lives Wayne in. Wayne Castle there, you know. Master Wayne. Yeah. Okay, here's a science fact for you. Oh, nice jumper. He's wearing a proper Bruce Wayne jumper there, isn't he? Batman Dark Tomorrow is an action-adventure video game developed and published by Kemco for the Nintendo GameCube and Microsoft Xbox consoles and oh, released no. in March 2003. Here we go. This is where his parents die. Oh, no. His dad. <laughs> Master I think Wayne. You mean, I think you mean father. Father. Bruce. Son. Oh, his, his mum lived. No, she didn't. Do you think they'll be okay? It's quite a lot, isn't it, for an intro? This this is definitely taking itself very seriously. Ah, oh, just just you wait. Scott Peterson will come back to that name. Oh my later. god. <laughs> there he is. I There's... like how sort of dramatic it is, but he's wearing quite a comic book style outfit. Costume, His cheeks you know? look really quite weird in that. Yeah. Cowl. There you go, press all the buttons. It's a, it's a highly cartoony costume, and it doesn't suit anything else in the game. Yeah, the art style's a, a bit strange. Whoa. Honestly, all this stuff looks like it's from the like a 90s uh, PC game. You know, mm. the sort of weirdly animated cutscenes from which you, you must take it very seriously. Yeah, where like some of the stuff looks really good, and back then looked amazing, but then other stuff, for And example, then you look at the people, and the yeah. people look all wrong. In-game music by Egg. We're going to talk about Egg, I think. Okay. <laughs> the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra? Yeah. Oh, I love how the Batmobile is just a regular car with some fins on the back. I mean, that's realistic at least, I suppose. Yeah, I suppose so. But, you know, the Batmobile is supposed to be a black tank, as they say. In the Whoa! Well, it, I mean, if it's it can't be a tank if it's got to lose its wheels on the motorway. Right? Yeah, the Joker got away. We also would have accepted the Joker had to pay. Yes, and Robin may or may not have laid an egg. Or flown away. Look at him brood. <laughs> Later, Pop! Yeah, thanks for the stuff. Yeah, especially the cash. The cash! It didn't show them climbing over. Many precedents of the comics are, so that would be too expensive, are cited, especially as it pertains to Raish or Raz, if you want to get serious about this, Al Ghul, and Batman's undefined relationship with Al Ghul's daughter, <laughs> Talia Al Ghul. What well, are you laughing at? That looked, that looked really good. Didn't it? Yeah. Bat cuffs can be used to restrain the enemies. Cuff them quickly so they won't attack you again, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. So you're playing a GameCube game with GameCube buttons on an Xbox controller? I'm using a PlayStation controller. But... Oh, you are? Okay, I was going to say, I'm going to yeah. give you the PlayStation prompts. It's R2 to cuff them, I think. Oh, yeah, and it basically is... It's R1 to, R1 to crouch, and I want you to move around while crouching, please, because it looks excellent. Okay. Is it R1 to crouch? Oh, it's not. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Which button is crouch? Well, this is something. This makes him walk slowly. Is he uh, is he blocking? Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, oh, there now it is. he's crouching. There he goes. Oh, here he comes. Batman is coming for your <laughs> stand back for your beans. Can't stop thinking about those beans. Off he goes. Though he's good, isn't he? I wouldn't mess with it's him. It's the bat. Get him. As he just slowly zip ties these boys. Yeah, no, they're back cuffs, Ben. They are not cable ties. What are you talking about? Oh, you did it. You saved the day. Oh, look how shiny he is. <laughs> it's the cheeks. What is it with the cheeks? Why are the cheeks sort of bulging out almost like erotically underneath mm. his, <laughs> his cowl? I can't stop looking at it. Every single shot of him is just slightly wrong. Ooh, some interesting parallax going on in the background there with that desk. I don't know if you caught that. I didn't. Just everything that he does and every shot of him, there's something wrong. Yeah. It's different things every time, but, you know. Head to the roof of Gotham Police Headquarters. Use the bat cable. The roof. To swing and the bat grapple to move up and down. So this game is... Is just one of those excellent. Wow! <laughs> wow! Oh, look that's a the... ten. That's a ten. <laughs> oh, I love so, it. This is just one of those worst games that we've played, where I've pretty much just copied the whole Wikipedia article because it's just one thing after another. Mm. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna sort of forge ahead here. 
Initially announced in 2001 as a GameCube exclusive, Batman Dark Tomorrow was envisioned as being an open-ended, faithful and realistic approach to the Batman franchise in a similar vein to the Batman Arkham series years later. However, as development progressed, the game was scaled back and slated for release on multiple consoles. The g oh no! It's not told me how to, gra how to bat grapple. But um, you've still got 20, 20 bats to collect. No, right. this, this is your gear. I can choose my gear. Do you want 10 bats? The one in the middle is spinning so fast. I know. Doesn't it spin so quickly? Now it's not, really. Oh, yeah. It builds up speed. Game. How do I... How, how about grapple? Well, I'll leave you to work that out for a second. However, as development progressed, the game was scaled back and slated for release on multiple consoles. The game was a critical failure upon release, being criticised for its poor controls and camera. A PlayStation 2 version of the game was planned to be released, but was cancelled due to the negative reception. Ah. Uh, so yeah, you can change your gear. Oh, there it is. You've worked it out. Off he sort of. Uh, right. Ascend. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Look at him go! How do I... Uh, can I swing? I can't. I can't obviously no, swing. Only Bruce does that. Do I just jump from here? Boom. Oh! Ooh. Oh! Oh <laughs> God! That was really close. It's very weird. Oh, now, oh, it's, now it's, raining. it's raining. It's raining here. Ascend. This is just. It's just like the films. Jump. Whoa! Whoa. Oh, oh no! no. Do I have to <laughs> oh, chain no. it together? How does that work? You can't swing. I love how he just gives up and just accepts that this is the <laughs> night that, that he dies. Do you think we'll ever get past this area? No, this seems like the kind of game that people will remember from their childhoods as being the Oops. game where they never got over the first rooftop. Yeah. So this was originally envisioned as sort of like a Spider-Man 2. There's a later science fact about it. Spider-Man 2... GTA-esque open world sandbox. Oh, 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 you did, you did. Uh, no, no, yeah, no. you can chain it together, as it turns out. Okay, yeah. But then this is what we ended up getting, just a few rooftops that you go between. Hmm. This is the rain rooftop again. Slippery when wet. So now we jump. Whoa. And then Whoa, we... that was like a... Oh my god, it's so... I don't seem to be making much progress when I do that, though. There must be a way to jump, to swing. Like holding a button and, and A and B is jump. Well, yeah, A and B does this. Wow! So you're getting a little closer. I'm getting now, slightly closer. Every now time, imagine but... you're chasing Catwoman across the rooftops. <laughs> yeah. This cannot be correct, can it? I can't even ascend any higher than this now. Oh, you got to just Oops. do a little. Oh no! I keep forgetting. I pressed the wrong button. Um. Oh god, you're gonna are you even gonna make it to the roof? Why is it such a slow Oh dear. Oh, oh no, there god he goes sake. again. He's had a great fall. What did it say? It said Oh, there's the back cable as well. Okay, try Right. Uh, right. Okay, so so you Oh, oh no, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes. There he goes again. It mentioned the back cable, but like I tried the back grapple. The back grapple seemed to be sort of doing roughly what I wanted to do. Whoa! Oh so my I just God. continue to use it. Like, why would it give you the, the option of both? I honestly don't know. Oh, it's wow, so Wow, that is spectacular. <laughs> you, look, you look fantastic right now. So the grapple is for going up and down. I suppose that makes sense, but like, yeah. it was not, oops, it was not Ooh, made clear. Okay, that's fine. It's so slow, though. That's what I can't get over. It's just how sluggish Batman is. It's like he's going up the side of a building to wash windows. Yeah. Oh, it just did a bit of loading there. It loaded the next three rooftops. Yes, here they are. So you have to manually switch left and right between your gear to get between the cable and the grapple. Um, which is great, you know. Most games would just like say, press, press whatever to use relevant tool right now. Yeah. You know, it would just be context dependent. But no, this is the Batman game. 
the Batman game. This is the definitive Batman game. That's what they wanted to make. Like I applaud their ambition, but clearly they just it just did not. It's come together beautifully. It has, yeah. Uh, it's just not. It's not panned out very well for them. It's like the little trail I'm leaving on the on the mini map. Yeah, see that's nice. So you can remember which of the three rooftops you just came from. Yeah. No, see the bit on the top is green on the map, so the I don't think up. it goes yeah. forever. I don't think you're allowed to go on that. You've got to go on the slidey oh. boy. Hello? What happened? Oh, for God's sake, I detached and it just cut to a fixed camera angle on the roof and I couldn't see myself anymore to direct this, myself. This is where you want to be, right? At least there's a checkpoint. Yeah, good. Thank God for that. I wonder who mo this. Yeah. I think Val Kilmer. You reckon? In the rubber suit? Yeah. With no mobility at all? Oh. Oh, oh you you oh, you oh, oh it's no just changing the camera oh, angle constantly. Oh no. Can you imagine Batman, looking please. out your office window and you just see him blowing around in the breeze. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you did it. We're making our way towards the bat symbol. Slowly, Why is it showing it at every opportunity? You get to look at it. Oh, as the rain stops. Oh, the bat oh, no, symbol. It's... That's what it's of course known as in the universe. Yes. Yes. Off you go. Flip. Oh, it's spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> it's so good. Do you know? I wonder if you've done if you've looked this up as a science fact. Do you know mm. where this one ranked on our every Batman video game ranked list? No, but I can check. Do you want me to look right now? If you wouldn't mind, I'm quite interested. Let me just go into my scripts folder. Let's have a look. Uh, do I jump jump up here? Whoa! He did a flip. Oh, you can you can sort of. Two thirds of a triple jump, if you want. Oh my goodness! But all he really does is turn over in the air and doesn't really gain much height at all. <laughs> right. I'm oh looking. no! Oh, Jesus. oh no! Okay. Right. I have found the script. The thirtieth of April, twenty nineteen. Have you fallen? Yeah. Yeah. I was hanging on my on my back. Uh, swing, my bat swing. Yes, and I, but bat I was cable. Too low, yeah, my bat cable. And I was too low to get to the rooftop that I was trying to get to. So then I switched to my bat grapple to gain some height. Mm -hmm. But you can't just go from cable to grapple. It doesn't let you do that. So you have to detach and then mash the triangle button to try and grapple while you're falling. Uh, so, you know, it, it just works so well. Jesus. I'm not Peter from Triple Jump, and this is every Batman game ranked from worst to best. Number 56, Batman Dark Tomorrow, 2003. Oh no, is it the worst one ever? GameCube and Xbox. Batman Dark Tomorrow has a great selection of villains, fully voiced cutscenes, and an urgent mission with the highest possible stakes. Unfortunately, it's also bloody terrible. It's the, yeah, it ranked last in our Batman games ranked list, which you should all go and watch. You should. Okay, here's another science fact for you. Here's a little bit about the story, which I'm sure you're very excited. Oh, what is I'm, happening? I'm excited for the story to eventually start, yeah. No, but first you need to master being Batman. Mm -hmm. Master White. Right, I'm going to gain max height. Yes, Maxwell height. And then I'm going to massively... Yeah. Oh! Oh. oh, he's threaded the needle. Where is he? Oh, this is it. This is our camera. This is where we are down here. Help! Help that man. It's gone wrong. Alfred! Alfred, help! Do a flip. Uh, oh, there he is! Oh! Oh, oh, oh no! It's Alfred! so <laughs> bad. I mean, it doesn't help. It definitely doesn't help that I don't know what any of the buttons are. Even though it's telling me what they are, I still don't know what they are because I've never owned a GameCube and I've mapped GameCube buttons to a PlayStation controller. But. I mean. Yeah, reassuringly, I don't think you not knowing where the B button is mm. improves the controls. No. While trying to end a gang war between Scarface and the Ventriloquist and Black Mask, Batman discovers that Commissioner James Gordon has been kidnapped and is being held hostage at an overrun Arkham Asylum. So it's just what a day for this guy. I and know. He's, he's testing out some new gear, look. The first time, and it's not worked very well. Will we ever get past this level? I'm going to call it a level. The worst thing there was, so I was really low. I was on my grapple, 
and I was still too low, and I was like, okay, I need to do the silly floaty jump animation to mm. get some more height, and then do my grapple again. But I was too close. Oh, Jesus! I was too close to the uh, the wall, and it just cancelled the animation halfway through, and I just plummeted. Wow, which is exactly what you want. That is really, really very good, isn't it? You also can't use your cable while you're in the air, so you can't really chain it together Ooh. at all. Oh, I'm him. caught. You've hit an invisible wall there. Oh. Oh. Oh, please, Batman, please. Please, Batman. <laughs> Batman, you must. Oh. Oh, great angle. Oh, good. Oh, the flying oh, kick. Oh, so cool. Ooh. He definitely doesn't... Oh, he doesn't no, do his double jump no. sometimes. He just does not do... Sometimes his double jump gets legally served and he has to not do it anymore. He, he's not allowed to do a double jump anymore. He literally would just sometimes not do the flip, which is... Which is appropriate because if he did change to triple jump, he'd probably have a lot more success. Yeah. And he wouldn't be legally harassed for sure. Batman, made in dreams. <laughs> it would be better in dreams. There are definitely better Batman games in dreams. I've played one. There's like an Arkham sort of inspired level that's really impressive. Mm. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh, he's looking at it in cutscene form now. Commissioner. What? Where have you been, Batman? I've had a lo long night. <laughs> We've reports of a massive shootout in Gazette Square. The reports also say that the gunmen are wearing elaborate masks. Understood. I'm on it. I'm on it. 12 killed in massive explosion. Yeah, do you want to just go sort it out, Batman, instead of observing? I appreciate that he wears his seatbelt. Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, he's a good role model. Listen to the hum of that computer. <laughs> the fan. Anything else? Yeah. Oh, there he oh, is. Now loading. That is a hideous loading screen. Isn't it? That's really horrible. Oh my goodness, here they come. Can I hit oh. civilians? No. Well, you're getting, all of the bullets are missing. What are they oh. doing? Oh no. So I have to now switch yep. to bat cuffs. Yep, there it is. Slowly put those on. Can the rest of you stay lying down, please? I'm just gonna. That's. Oh, oh music. the music just Music's cuts gone. immediately. Hello. Hello. Can I order a better game, please? Oh uh, no, you, 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 this is the wrong line. Call back later. Oh jeez, I don't want to. That's even worse. I'd rather play the game. I'm currently holding left on the analog stick, but again. Yes. As is typical with games like this, because of the change in camera angle, I'm still holding left, and now yep. I'm going, okay, there we go. There it is, he's done it. Oh. What's going to happen in here? Something great, I bet. More com- oh, a green thing. Is it going to explain mm. what that is? Oh! Oh my Jesus god. Jesus Christ! Right. Oh, he's gone. That's it, our Batman goes. Am I now jumping higher than I used to? I don't know, maybe it's just the camera angle that's showing it off a bit more. I just absolutely love the double helix that you can do here. <laughs> it's um, necessary. Batman Dark Tomorrow is a linear, stealth-based action game in which players control Batman as he fights crime. Batman is equipped with several of his tools, such as batarangs, smoke bombs, and grappling hooks. Levels... What is, go what is going on in here? Oh, I had no control there, they were just shooting the ceiling. Brilliant. Oh, he's running. It's just, there's so much going on all the time. It keeps switching to different things, animations, scripted events, <laughs> rapidly cutting out music. Music stopped. Everything. While enemies can be knocked unconscious, they cannot be killed due to Batman's no-killing code. This requires the players to handcuff the criminal in order to keep them from attacking. Look how big Batman is compared to this armchair. I mean, he is he's big. He's enormous. <laughs> he is. He's a big man. He is. There is a dot on your map. Hello? Oh, there is. Look. Yeah. God, you've played video games before. Well, you know, I don't know what it means. I know. That's just the man. Oh, it is the man. What? Was this just a little side adventure? Possibly. I think you need to go back outside if it's possible. Okay. I hear people shouting. Yeah, I hear people. Well, there he is, doing some chin-ups. They're like on the other side of this. I think I have to go through the building, but... Oh, God. But I how? I don't, don't know how. 
<laughs> oh, hang on. Can I just walk along? No. <laughs> no, you got to go in. I'm going to look up a walkthrough. Okay. Batman Dark Tomorrow walkthrough. Push through the rooms and out the door with the exit sign. So there's got to be a button that is either not mapped or that you have not pressed to get you out of there. Oh, kick it. Oh. What did you press? Okay. I, I don't know. I guess last time I was there, maybe I pressed them all too quickly and he was still in the middle of an animation of some Oh, kind. maybe. Well, there you go. You've done it. I did. Wonderful. You practically finished the game now. I know. Oh, jeez. The, the camera... Whoa! You oh just God. died. I died. What? Oh, no. How? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, no. Oh, <laughs> is he alive? The cape's having some fun there. The change in camera... Um, and like the way that it affects your directional. What oh. the hell? <laughs> Hello, Batman. Batman's been consumed by the wall. He's not getting up. Oh, there we go. Oh, 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 oh sick, of course right. he had to get up with a flourish, didn't he? He can't just do anything normally. You know how we were jokingly saying that you have to you have to crouch in order to get out of slow mode like yeah. this. You actually do. You have to cycle through three modes of movement. It's it's run, then you press R1, or whatever the GameCube equivalent is, and that makes you do this. Then you press it again, and yeah. that makes you do the best one. And then <laughs> you press it again, and now you can run. Right, so Brilliant. now some people are trying to kill me. Whoa, Jesus. what the hell? Oh my god. Do I have to maybe shoot a... Oh, Batman. Gets up and dies again. I just, I, I wish he just, I was just waiting for him to do the worm. There. Yeah. I thought that's what he was going to do. It does not make anything clear, though, does it? At all. No, there's, not even a slap there's on the wrist. Not. Just you're oh, there's dead. an alley to the right. It's just an alley that I'm not allowed to go down. Oh, that one for with the flip's sake. It's just an instant death alley, I think, that one. Dark Tomorrow was presented at E3 2001 as an exclusive to the Nintendo GameCube console. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. See, you're not dying as quick this way. Well, those are elaborate masks, huh? Batman is made out of some stern stuff. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I still don't know what any of the controls are. I really don't. It's just pot luck. That is fantastic. Oh, oh the music! It was so originally conceived as an open world oriented uh, adaptation of the comic book iteration of Batman. Similar to Activision's Spider-Man 2, players would control Batman as he travelled around Gotham City, with the ability to, pat to patrol Gotham in the Batmobile, Batplane and Batboat. Character oh. AI and combat was very ambitious in order to allow an in-depth open-world Batman experience. However, the game was later revealed to be in the works for both the Xbox and PlayStation 2 consoles and was reworked into a more linear and stealth-based game. Look at the fire. What do you mean? It's great. It's it's perfect. Oh, you can fit. Oh, there we go. There's Black Mask. Oh, it's a gang war, is it? There's a lot of bullets in those guns. now. <laughs> it's the bat. Where did you get the weapons? <laughs> what is that face? How are they having though? a conversation at that volume at that distance? And one, Whoa. one of them's wearing a mask that covers his mouth. Oh, look at him go. Did you see how fast that guy was running? <laughs> Whoa, Batman, what are you doing? Batman is also quick, though. Oh, it's just so overwhelming, overstimulating. But what of the story in this game? Who is responsible? Well, veterans DC Comics and former Batman Gotham Adventures writer Scott Peterson, who also wrote the previous year's Superman The Man of Steel video game, and Final Fantasy's Kenji Tarada created the story for Dark Tomorrow, while the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra performed the game's orchestrated score. Amazing. Peterson was not aware of Tarada's involvement at the time he works on the game's, of, the game's story, relating years later that he wrote the script alone while working at, as DC Comics' Batman Office Liaison, and that Tarada was likely brought on after he completed the script. Whoa, what, what is what, happening? What are you doing? It's trying to lock on to that man, but he's too far away, or I'm getting shot and it's d unlocking it. Ooh! Right, now it's you got square him. to get out of that. You the have direction eight. just goes crazy again. You have eight health. Oh no. Can I use a bat health? 
Yes, I can, you do have but... a medical kit. There we go. Nice. So essentially you have 500 health then, don't you? Yeah, that's basically how it works. Oh, every single time you go around... Oh, it did it again. Every... What oh, that? it did it just again. A... Are we in Robot Wars now? You just... you. Ca... I know, yeah. It's like a... The pit smoke. Oh, it only does it when it get close. It's proximity-based yeah, it pipe. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> He doesn't get up by himself. You have to. You have Batman, to press are you okay, Batman? Batman, we're worried about you. Where's that guy going? Oh, there's a CD over there. I'm a big fan of the of going around a corner and it just. Oh, <laughs> oh he's he's knocked himself down it's there. Just, it's just relentless. There's it stuff is. blowing up everywhere. Oh, it's gonna blow up on me. It's All the time. Oh no, oh, no it's Will gonna blow up while you're handcuffing him. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Pirouette away! Okay, he's oh, that guy's done now. He's come out with a man. Yeah. I'm just gonna run at him. That's how you deal with a hostage situation. Wow, it, you I really think. did. You did. You solved that crisis very well. Yeah. No, no, I don't negotiate with terrorists. No. Right, so they're gonna get that disc over there. Yeah, give it a try. The game features various Six. endings depending on how the last few sections of the game are played. You'll enjoy this science fact, Peter. Mm -hmm. To get the good ending, Batman must disarm a signal device before facing Raish. This is never revealed to the player, however, and the most common ending consists of defeating Raish, who then sets off bombs he has set up around the globe, ultimately resulting in his success. This initially what? caused confusion among gamers and critics as to why beating the game essentially had the death of one third of the population of the planet. <laughs> Amazing. So don't feel bad about it not telling you how to, you know, grapple properly. <laughs> grapple properly. <laughs> because. Yeah, if it doesn't even tell you how to actually win the game. Oh, here he is. It doesn't tell you how to save the world. You finish it, but at what cost? Look at him He's go. coming for you. Would you like to hear the reviews? I would love to hear the reviews because that means we're nearly done. We are nearly done, yes. We are. Here's something we should encourage people to do that we'd never do, which we should. Bearing in mind we get almost all of our science Jeez. facts from Wikipedia. People should edit the Wikipedia article to mention that it's been featured in the series Worst Games Ever. Yeah, in the reception section of these games, you should say, like... And it was featured in 2021 in Triple Jump's Worst Games Ever series. Okay, so what do you reckon the average is on Metacritic? I hope the average is, like, 30%. Ding, ding, ding! It's 29%. Excellent. This game got 29% on Metacritic. What was the highest review score? It came from Gamers Pulse. Do you want me to read the description first, and then you can guess the score? Yeah, go for it. Gamers Pulse is the highest review on Metacritic for this game. Graphics and sound quality were especially impressive, but its gameplay flaws destroyed any possible greatness it might have had. Batman. That was not made at all clear in that terms of good, game wasn't design. It? That Camera was... angles were very obvious. Oh. oh, looks like you're going up there. Oh, that's great. So <laughs> to jump to jump off here, you're holding left on your analog stick. It then <laughs> switches camera angle and then moves you to the left. Wow. Which normally it doesn't do. Normally it conserves the direction that you were going. But for some reason, this one exception where it's the only time you don't want it to do that... It, uh, it switches control direction for you. God. You're under bat arrest. You do not have to bat say anything, but it may bat harm your defense. Your bat rights. Yeah, read your bat rights. Got your bat to rights. Oh. oh, there's more. So what was the highest average score, do you think, based on that review? Some people will have thought that it was charming and that it was a 58% game. They did give it 50%. Oh my okay. god, it's just, this is deafening. Ah, oh, the music, thank god. The lowest review score came from Game Revolution, who said, You'll find it almost unplayable thanks to both the worst camera, con camera and controls in the history of video gaming. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I actually almost agree with that. Um, it's not the worst ever, but it's definitely worse than most. Yeah. I think they gave it 10%. We haven't had one for a while. It's a vomit-inducing zero! Oh, oh. 
Yeah, zero percent. Which, of course, while we appreciate the sentiment here on this show, we don't accept that that's a real review score because that would imply that the game is unplayable. That? That's Game Revolution, who I think we've heard from before on this show. Oh, right. Reviewed a lot of the games we've played. So the second lowest review score is GameSpot, who said, When you combine the stiff gameplay, muddy graphics, and clunky movement in the game's levels, Batman Dark Tomorrow ends up feeling like it was thrown together with half-finished components. Mm. What did they give it? Um, I'll say 10% again now. 28%. Who is that on the map? You see that person? There's someone here, but... Yeah, is that a person? <laughs> so when are you going to do a long play of this game for YouTube, Peter, do you think? Uh, it looked like it wasn't oh. there at all. Oh my god. Well, thank you so much, everybody, for watching Worst Games Ever. This has been Batman Dark Tomorrow. If you support us on Patreon over at patreon.com forward slash team triple jump and support us at a certain tier, you can get episodes of Worst Games Ever two days before everyone else. Uh, make sure you edit the Wikipedia page to to mention that this game was featured on this show. And also, Peter, where can people post this to share it around? Uh, they can post it, of course, on the Batman subreddit, but I think more importantly on the... Hey, did you want to go left? Well, sorry, we just changed the camera angle, so now you're going forwards. Uh, subreddit. Subreddit, yes, that is one that yeah. does exist. R slash that. <sighs> okay, well, that's enough. That's enough. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. It really is more than enough. Thank you, everyone. We will see you next time. Uh, bye. Bye-bye.